Hey guys, JVD here. You know, it's getting cold outside. Everyone's thinking about getting in the deer woods, deer hunting, duck season, and that's all fine and dandy, but this is some of the best fishing of the year, and I can't wait to get out there. A lot of the locals are off the lakes, and that's the best time that we can go and smash some giant largemouth and smallmouth. I'm going to give you a rundown of my top five baits for fall. You won't want to miss it. So one of my favorite baits to throw for fall especially is a spinnerbait. It's pretty hard to beat a good aggressive spinnerbait bite. We have tons of different options. Uh, some of the new Strike King Tour grade ones, that's one of my favorites for sure. I like a spinnerbait with painted blades, um, kind of natural bait fish colors this time of year. Uh, unless you're a smallmouth, that's one thing I've always said. The only thing you can count on with a smallmouth is that you can't count on them. A lot of times they like the painted blades, chartreuse or chartreuse blades in clear water. It doesn't make sense, but they absolutely hammer it. So a spinnerbait is by far my number one go-to in the fall. So similar to the spinnerbait, what you'll notice a lot for my fall baits especially is I like to cover water, I like to wind fast, and get aggressive bites. So the second one is definitely, for me, going to be the vibrating jig. Um, the jackhammer is a great option, as well as a thunder cricket. There's a lot of different options for vibrating jigs, and they're all usually pretty solid. Trailer with something, you know, natural patterns, whether it's a natural bait fish like this one here. Um, this one with a zeka on it or it's a green pumpkin. Depending on what the forage is, is what you're going to want to focus on on your color selection, but the vibrating jig is great for the fall as well. Still kind of staying on the same lines of that natural look, something a little bit more subtle, uh, it's got to be the swim bait. It's a great, you know, great option for covering water. Like I said, it's a little bit more natural, uh, so those days where it's, where it's calm and you get a little bit more sunshine, this is a great option. Throw it on like a quarter ounce or eighth ounce jig head, uh, up on some of the shell flats especially. Uh, this one is one of my favorites for sure. It's the Guggen Saucy Swimmer, um, but there's a lot of great options out there in these small swim baits. But another fantastic fall option. So sticking with that power fishing pattern, like I said, these fish are aggressive. They're feeding up heavy, getting ready for winter, because they know that that lid is coming pretty quick. So the jerk bait is another great option. I like the KVD 200 series. It's a little bit shallower diving than the 200 or even the, or the, than the 300, 300D. Um, Great option for fall especially because it allows you to target those shallower fish that are feeding heavy and get some aggressive bites. Last but not least for fall on my top five baits is going to be a Texas rig. You know this is the time of year where the weeds are starting to die, they're starting to fall down towards the bottom a little bit and a lot of times those big largemouth will hang right on the edge of those weed lines still. And this is a great way to target them. I like a Guggen. Bandito bug, just one great option. There's a lot of fantastic uh, soft plastics out there that you can couple with a jig or just rig Texas style. Either way, but it's a great option for, especially for some of those little days, it's a little bit slower as those weeds start to die a little more. Um, but there it is, top five baits from JVD for fall. You gotta have them in your tack box.